I was super surprised. So I was like, oh, Ukraine, why not? Let's go. more than what I expected. It's a beautiful country. Mm -hmm. You guys, uh, you know, take care of your uh, historical heritage a lot, so that, that's kind of preserved in the, the drinks. I've heard like different things about Ukraine and especially the eastern, northeastern part that's close to Russia. So I didn't really expect that it would be this beautiful. I mean, what's the point of life here if you're not taking any risks? It's good to see the two biggest cities in uh, this country. People are all awesome. The people are so kind and friendly and some of them also speak English. So that's kind of nice. <laughs> So what surprised me uh, the most about Ukraine was uh, the history it has. I've actually uh, had no idea that Ukraine was this historical. Uh, what impressed me in Ukraine first, the beautiful girls. I really like the nature, the green uh, areas and the, uh, the smiley people here. In Germany, Ukraine is all about war and Russia and you know all the bad things, but like no one tells you about how beautiful it really is. Yeah, I think the best thing was the paintball is fun. <laughs> I really like the, the paintball game because I hit it. <laughs> I got a lot of uh, painting. <laughs> yeah, that was great. Well, I first I was like confused because why I got uh, uh, a message from Ukraine tell me to involve, involve in some hacker thing. I maybe my family was like, oh, you are going to ar arrest you and torture you to death. <laughs> I was like, nah, they people are not know what are they are doing. It's a white hat thing. I to explain to them what what is being being a white hat. So they are uh, okay. Just do it. And we are living in Iraq, so they are not such a country <laughs> dangerous as Iraq. So. Hacker Cup is the uh, is a hacking convention um, where we take 30 of the uh, I guess top hackers and uh, we bring them all together to see what they could find. Pretty good, pretty fun, awesome people, and yeah, a good challenge. Going to another country, just like experiencing a lot of new things and being able to like work together hacking for three days straight is fun.
I decided to go to Ukraine after I received a direct message in my Twitter account from Hackett Conference. Uh, they told me you are invited to uh, Hacker Cup. So I decided to apply for the form. Uh, they do everything for me. They uh, issued my visa. Yeah, actually, I like the concept of uh, like uh, hacker running the Hackit Cup or similar kind of an event where uh, every hacker around the world uh, gather at one place and uh, do a live hacking. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a good experience for me because I uh, I really like working in the group and discussing a lot of uh, vulnerabilities, techniques, methods with other people, like um, working in a team for for the same purpose, which is uh, finding vulnerability and make the world uh, a better place. I think it's awesome to, uh, I guess, work on different kind of sites. Um, I haven't worked on anything with, uh, I guess, airlines, tickets before. Um, it, it's, that was a pretty cool experience. We only see each other like our online nicknames on forums and different platforms, but so I see this as a place where we all get to meet each other, share knowledge, discuss different things, get to, get to see like how, what we look like, uh, things like that. It's an amazing, amazing experience, an amazing competition. You know, we got to we got to go head on with different kinds of people from everywhere else, and you know, we got to get show off our skills, show, you know, get to know about their skills, and you know, where we lack, find out our strengths and weaknesses, and you know, that's what Hackett Cup is. I didn't really expect the infrastructure to be like this, to be honest. The competition was uh, very good. We got to see uh, new hackers with new techniques. Yeah, I'll, I really liked the schedule because it was like Okay, it was pretty packed, but it also um, gave us the ability to see the country, enjoy uh, the people. Yeah, that was awesome. I really liked that. It was a great experience being here and we had a lot of fun. It's really cool. Such a lovely place to be here with, with all these hackers from around the world. For the organizer, I really try to high five them because it's such an amazing thing. Um, oh, I got to meet a lot of people, a lot of interesting people who I never would have met anywhere else in the world. Uh, you know, we, we knew each other online on Facebook and stuff, but we never got to meet each other, and now we did.
So I visited like events like this for right now. And this one was a special one because like it had a lot of um, you know the sightseeing in the city, like going out every night and like being together a lot. So this was a big difference to the others. The difference between the, the hackathons that I attended in USA and this one in Ukraine is about how organizations like Hackett take, a, take care, uh, care of all the stuff such as the, uh, your accommodation, your, your dinners, your everything. Uh, how you make you fun, how uh, they organize the games for us, lots of stuff. And I see this as an opportunity to meet everyone. For me, it was very interesting, very impressive. Uh, starting from the conference uh, to the um, the hacking club itself. My impression for this conference was amazing because I attended a lot of sessions and learned a lot. First, uh, bug hunting is for me is a very, uh, very interesting thing to do. Uh, you do, uh, you, you try your best to find new vulnerabilities, you try to think in new way mm -hmm. and uh, at the end of the day you end up with uh, having a bounty in your pocket. I think the organizers of uh, Hackett did an awesome job. It was really good, like it was the best experience in any event I had. Nowadays digital currency is very uh, important. We, we can see like a lot of digital currencies like uh, Bitcoin, Litecoin, a lot of uh, things. So investing in uh, or getting paid by Bitcoin or by digital currency like Hacken, uh, I think it's uh, something awesome. So uh, Hacken is uh, an interesting idea uh, for a currency, I think. I'm really excited to see it in action and uh, try to get people on board and uh, see if it, uh, we could actually make it a standard. It's a uh, good investment as uh, you guys also can control the value of hackins by investing your money so it won't get down easily it will stay stable and i like the idea to have a currency for hackers and to get paid in that uh, for finding vulnerabilities and yeah that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would be open to in the future. Now that we're like we have some hacking, it would be interesting to see how that turns out. I don't usually use any platforms, but I think like the crypto uh, scene is something I would like to work with. So I see definitely hacking as a mm -hmm. thing that I would work with in the future. Well, I will accept it. The concept is very good, it's a new kind of cryptocurrency, value of the hacking, they can control that thing by their side, little bit not everything, but so yeah, that's a positive point, so it's a good. We should go for uh, cryptocurrencies, we should go for digital currencies, for blockchain technologies, uh, to liberate ourselves from the imperialism. It's a very positive step uh, towards uh, uh, a brighter future for all of us.
black hackers, black hat hackers, you know, like uh, we know it's a not a uh, good thing. But uh, gray hat hackers, it's always like a combination of both sides so they can uh, help the uh, community if they are switching their sides completely on the white hat side. So yeah, they can you know, make us uh, make the country more secure if they're contributing more towards the white hat hacking side. I must say, be lovely, <laughs> because if black hacker uh, used his experience to do some white stuff, it would be useful for us, useful for all company, companies. Yeah, I'll suggest them to like convert into white hat definitely. So, uh, like uh, they can uh, do the good work and like, but black hat hackers don't really care about white hat. So we have to change that thing. Hack all the things. I mean, find all the bugs and hack all the things and don't be a black hat. <laughs>